Okay, so back for another round. Uh, and I'm not sure if this is going to be the final round, guys. So last night I couldn't sleep too well. I was talking to my buddy Phil Grope. He's a night owl. I'm kind of in a night owl too these days. And uh, we just get in a conversation about art. I, sent, I showed him a picture of this. He said deadly. And I said, what do you think I should uh, do in the wings? And he gave me opinion of... Uh, he said mirrors, like broken mirrors. He said mirrors. I said, oh, yeah, but like little tiny broken mirror pieces would be cool. And he goes, yeah, so then people could look on their reflection, right? So, you know, if you're looking at the Grim Reaper when he comes to see you, you can look at the reflection, see if you've done enough sins to have to go to, you know, hell. So, anyways, I thought, I, I, I like, shows how much I know about this kind of stuff, but I thought the Grim Reaper was just the one that would take your life and he would, he would decide if you were going to heaven or hell. So he's not the one to decide. So he's just a death angel. And I believe he takes you to hell. But who knows? If it's this Grim Reaper, because I was going to do a cross in one wing. He, it feels like, no, no, he's for he's for hell. And I was thinking, oh, well, if I want to be friggin' the, the Grim Reaper from heaven, well, put some, I don't friggin' know. So anyways, I started thinking about it. And, you know, I had this... Uh, Lots of people in my suggestions were saying purple, like bat wings, like veins. And that would be cool too, but I just don't, I'm not really set out for that. Because if you want to do veins, you have to have more points. You know, I only have three points here, basically. I need to have a couple more so I can make the veins come off there. But I still could. I'm not, I just don't know, okay? That's it. I just don't know. So I had this metallic powder. I don't know if it's sparkling on that. I got it off Amazon. It's, I, I use it for, this What color is purple. So then I started messing around. I got, so here's a shout out to Just Carve Rob. I got some of that Maj Paw stuff a while back. And I start, I mix the purple, and the, the metallic powder and the purple. You can't really see it too metallic on this video. You might be able to. But there is just the metallic, the Maj Paw is mixed with the metallic purple. It's too bright of a purple. So then I did a whole bunch of stuff. I just did black and with the sparkle shit in it. Who named this stuff sparkly shit? Like where does, here's a shout out to, to you too, Evil Rick. Who who named the sparkles sparkle? How did they get the name sparkle? I'd rather call them shiny things. So anyways, I pulled out the airbrush. I got my, uh, I gave Pete an airbrush a couple years back and he gifted it back to me. And I tried doing a little bit of airbrush painting on the uh, skulls. Just trial and error, guys. I got this stuff here. I'm, I'm terrible air, airbrusher. So, but anyways. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, so none of this works for me. I don't want this thing to look like a Walt Disney, like, uh, you know, Bambi kind of carving. I want it to be, I don't even know if Bambi, or, you know, Ronald McDonald or Mickey Mouse, okay? I want it to be evil. I'm not an evil person, people, but I want this piece to be evil. So none of this works for me. Doesn't. So I think I'm going to have to take a trip to the store. Look, there's still air in the compressor. Yeah, so okay, so maybe we'll see what happened. And I'll go to the store and figure out what's going to happen here. Get some mirror and break it up for the wings, or I don't, I just don't know. Just carve rub. Okay, so I'm back from the store like 40 hours later. This is what I got. Okay, this is from the art store. Okay. This is what I got. 
I got some of this silver metallic powder. Kind of looks like mirror. It's not powder. I don't know what's for confetti glitter. Okay, it's just like, I don't know, whatever. And I got some red color like that too. I don't know, whatever. Okay, I got some sparkles. Some red and, yeah, they're red and black sparkles in here. I don't know, whatever. I got some, uh, this is uh, epoxy tint. So uh, I can uh, do red epoxy. Look, red. Okay, and I got this oil-based model paint. And the lady was saying that lots of people use this for airbrushing if I thin it out. And this color is cherry. Okay, so that's from the, the, the first store, okay? So let's see what we got from the next store. Okay, so I'm driving back to Ladner because I had to go to Richmond. And the next store, I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should have got a mirror. Maybe I will put a mirror in the wings and stuff like that. Okay, so here, this is what I got from the next store. Oh, look, some more metallic bullshit, sparkling, shiny stuff, powder. Here's a mirror, a makeup mirror, or whatever, a lady mirror. So I could take this out. What was it? Three fifty. I could take it out and smash it. And I got a cat dish. Why did I get a cat dish? Because when I'm carving with my burrs, I take my burr out and I usually just throw it right here. I usually just throw my burrs that I'm using right there, right? So why not have a dish so you can throw them into the cat dish? So, anyways. This stuff's all bullshit. I know it's right now bullshit. Oh, speaking of bullshit. Look, guys, it's all bullshit. Shelves of bullshit. Besides the cuts all burrs, it's all bullshit. Yeah, I'll use it one day. I'll save it. I'll keep it around. I'll use it one day. All that stuff in there, all in here, all in there. Most of it's all just bullshit. Oh, yeah, guys. I stopped and got some uh, local strawberries. Look at the size of these things this year. They're going to have on steroids. But I decided to start using uh, paper plates because, once again, I hate unloading the dishwasher. And it's the final word of the day. Bullshit. Look, Jordy, throw it into the pile of bullshit. Okay, guys, all jokes aside, I did pick up this uh, poly shade. This is black. Classic black gloss. All this stuff's going to be black, okay? I'll try and airbrush the skulls, give them some highlights if I can figure out how to use it. And what I'm going to do first beforehand is I'm going to paint all these flames just with Dollar Store. I'm going to paint them red, okay? I'll paint all the flames red. Then I'll go over it with the poly shade, okay? And hopefully the poly shade, hopefully the red, water-based red paint will block this poly shade from sucking in. You'll And once I use my flap center and, and hit the high points, you'll be able to see some red beneath the black and the flames. I don't know, guys, trial and error. It's what, this is why I'm not a big fan of painting my wood carvings because it gets so confusing. You know, I was talking to Pete about it this morning. Me, I haven't talked to Pete too much lately just because I don't want to bug him because I'm always asking for his opinion. But I showed him this and he said, well, you know, uh, maybe put some glow in the dark in the face. And uh, some other stuff. I forget what he said. But uh, then I talked to just car Carve Rob. And Rob's like, he doesn't think I should put mirrors in the wings. Because this needs to be, I've already spent so much time on it. It needs to be, I'm just talking too much. God damn it. Okay, bye. Okay, guys. So here's uh, some Dollar Store paint, deep red. Um, So I'll just say, like, hey, look, I got to use paintbrush here. Dip it in and start painting it red. That's about it. I'm going to paint all the flames red. You guys, I do I do read all your uh, comments and uh, input on this, and thank you. You know, and when I get when I think of suggestions and stuff like that's when I start getting confused. Okay, so anyways, I won't bore with you. Anybody knows how to pick up a paintbrush and paint flames red, so I'll get all this red done, and uh, wait till it's dry, and then we'll put this uh, poly shade on. I need some strawberries. Okay, guys, so I got all the red painted in just where I wanted to. You know, I'm going to leave here darker so the this poly shade can get in there and absorb the wood better. I did think about um, I did think about uh, coating this first with a sanding sealer. I might even coat 
this red. I might even try and put a coat of the sanding sealer on this red. Just so the sanding sealer, the, sa this, the sanding sealer kind of blocks the wood from being able to absorb stuff. If I put it on the red, maybe it will get through this water base color and penetrate the wood and not let this stuff absorb too much into that part so I can wipe it off and you'll see red underneath of it. Ah, screw it. Just put it all on. So I did the skulls too. Why not, right? So you're ha if you're having fun, just go for it, right? Yep, I say so. Okay, ladies. So I got my Johnson Dr. Love gloves on. Um, so let's uh, start putting this on. I got it mixed really good. I kept some of this bullshit around just because I might want to throw a few pieces on. Tell me not to do it, Jordy. Tell me, don't say don't do it. Uh, yeah, so let's get rid of that shit. Yeah, that's not that, that stuff's not staying. Okay, so let's get this on here. And I did, don't have a rag. So it's pretty black and it doesn't look like the... Uh, here, let me get a rag quickly, please. Press pause. Okay, so let's see... Uh, Let's do a little bit just where there's no red. Let's see if we can see a difference. Oh yeah, I can see red through it. I sure can. Good enough. I call that for the win. Keep going, continue. So I'll get this uh, all done. I won't waste your guys' time because this is gonna be a mess. And I'll probably, oh, don't do the wings, Jordy. And I'll probably be swearing lots. So I'll just get it done and then I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I'm pretty happy with the way it's come out so far. See those skulls? They're kind of red. Okay. So I kind of painted up this guy a bit black with the, with the poly shade. So what I'm going to do now is, I since the red turned out, I'm going to put some white under that black, under on his cloak here. So it's, um, how can I say it? So it kind of goes gray. So I'll paint that on. I'll put the black poly shade over the white. And then we'll get the buffing wheel. We'll buff this whole piece off, okay? And I'll paint inside his face black and his hands black and all that other good stuff. Still not sure about the wings yet. I still got to make his uh, head cutter off thing. angel of death hey guys there's no better satisfaction for me when a plan starts coming together okay so i'm happy with the way that turned out it's nice and dark this guy's kind of gray black he's got a tint of red in there you can see because he's you got to see it's the red flames are reflecting off his uh cloak so now i'm gonna hit it with this flap sander guys for all you that don't know you can see how I do this with my playlist. This is real soft emery cloth. This is 80 grit. This one's already worn down. Okay. But now I'm going to go around and give it some highlights. Let me give you a quick example right now. Just a little, just softly. Okay, look at the highlights in that flame now. Can you see that? Watch this one. Just a little bit. Okay, so here we go. What do you guys think? I'm happy with it. This makes me happy. Just because I'm happy with it doesn't mean you guys have to be happy with it. So, like I said, some of you guys said I should uh, just carve Rob said I should make it more serious and like make veins in here, kind of. But I did. I I just can't see myself doing it because I didn't give it enough of these points, right? Like if I made more points and more swoops in there and more of these uh, dragon teeth on the end. That's what these are, is dragon teeth, by the way, guys. 
or devil teeth. Yeah, they're dragon teeth from hell. So, but um, I don't know. So I still got the mirror thing in my uh, head. You know, I, like I, I said, I got this metal flake, the silver flake. I tried to use it with um, this Mod Podge. The Mod Podge isn't dry yet. I, I poured white paint out thinking it was the Mod Podge, but it's not. That's white paint. But anyway, so I thought maybe it would look like a shattered mirror this way. Once it's dry, it will be all clear. Yeah, like, like this right here. Shattered mirror on his wings. And there's some of that red. Same stuff as that other stuff. So this, bullshit. This, bullshit. This, sparkles. Bullshit. This, sparkles. Bullshit. I'll save it for another day. So this is that uh, red dye for epoxy. Okay? For resin. So I, I'm going to do a sample on this. Uh, I'll do it on this, on this thing, okay? I'll do a little piece right here. I'll paint it black first. The wing's black. So I got this dollar store mirror. So I'll take it apart and I'll smash it with the hammer. That's what I'll do. And then I'll mix up some epoxy and I'll try a sample piece to see if we can make the, the mirror kind of tint, tint red with this. Just a little drop of that uh, epoxy in there to make it the mirror kind of look red. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Jordy, you ask, how are you going to smash that mirror? Smashed mirror. Yes, I have my safety glasses on. Wear your safety glasses, people. Okay, you guys can see there I got the wings painted black with this uh, cheap dollar store paint. Okay, so now I got to wait for it to dry. And uh, I don't want to use my heat gun. I want it to dry naturally. Selling the paint tray. Anybody want to buy it? Used. I'll even wait till the uh, paint's dry so it cracks to give it that like uh, antique effect, right? But um, okay, I'll throw in the paintbrush too with that bit of uh, stuff on there. Okay, you guys can see there. Okay, you guys can see that the paint's all dry now. Okay, and the wings. So I tried gluing some of the mirror to the black paint with epoxy. With this bullshit. UV resin. Light curve. Now I know what they mean light. Because I poured lots in there. So much the epoxy can't even cure properly. There's no, barely any red in there. And I, and I took the whole cap off, stirred the red in the bottom. Maybe that's why it's black. Maybe why they have this whole thing black so you can't see the true color of the red. But I don't know, maybe it's for another purpose. But another thing, bullshit. Okay, so I mixed up some epoxy with red paint and that's just too, uh, that is just too dark now because you want, I want to be able to see the mirror. So maybe I'll try a little bit of uh, epoxy with that uh, powder, uh, that wood dye, that red wood dye I got. Okay, so the top one is I put the, the dye and I put the dye and then I wiped it. The water-based wood dye that I used from Lee Valley, then I wiped it off the glass to make see if it was shiny and no, it's bullshit. So. I'm through with this. There's only two things left that I can do. Use the original just broken mirror, place it down. Probably like a normal, just something on my lens, probably like a normal person would do. But then again, a normal person probably wouldn't make this. Just use normal mirror. 
you know, and glue it down. But littler pieces. Kind of just like, like it would be fit inside that edge there. Well, this, when you're doing something like this, this is when you need some patience. They need to be way littler pieces. And you know what? The, it needs to be red mirror glass, okay? It needs to be goddamn red. I've had enough of it. Red, get out of there. I have to wait. Forget it. I'm carving a wood spirit with my new master carver. Fucking thing, man. Fucking pisses me off. Forget it, I'm carving a wood spirit with my new Master Carver micro motor. I gotta try this thing out. Cuts all burr. Okay, I just want to state for the fact this is not aimed towards anybody. I just tried tried this. Okay, I just got this. It's the Master Carver Pro Carver. Okay, it's got forty six thousand RPMs. But I don't like. I said, like I said, I'm not aiming at this towards anybody's opinions of this tool. Okay, but some people say that this can replace a Dremel. 4,000, okay? I, like I said again, I'll keep saying it. I'm not, a, you know who you are. I'm not, I love you. You're my bro, and I'm not going against what you say, okay? But I, I don't, I don't see how that's true, okay? This is maximum speed, okay? Now, when have you ever seen a Dremel slow down for me and stop pausing it? Look. How, okay, you guys see that? Let me zoom in. How does that work? Okay, I wanna show you guys, I have been using this when this, with the Dremel flex shaft, okay? This when with the Dremel flex shaft, okay? So let's just make sure, so you guys all know it's still the when with the flex shaft, let's, okay, so here it is here. Let's stand up. Keep it all in one sink, okay? So there it is. There's the wind, okay? Now we're coming down to the hand piece. I got it hooked up to a foot pedal, okay? Here it is. Let me hang it back up. Now, let me show you.
okay? Just so you guys see, this is max speed, okay? Max speed, okay? Let's turn it on. Now let's do this outside of his... There's no shut off on it. It doesn't shut off automatically like my Ram does. Am I doing something wrong? Am I? Just Carved Rob already did state it works a lot harder and hot, works, works a lot better on hardwood. Okay, so that's working. I don't know, does it need to warm up? Rob, that's heavy hands, bud. Look. Okay. Let's do the flex shaft again with the wind. I'm gonna push hard. I'm gonna try and stall this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try and break this flex shaft. Okay, let's do a nice clean line. I'm gonna push as hard as I can, and I'm gonna try and break this flex shaft. I got more. Look how deep I went there. Look at, here's this wrench. Okay. Let's try it with this. Look, it's not even stolen out. Rob, I don't know how you say this could Replace a Dremel, bro. I love you, and I respect all everything you say, and I respect everything that you do, and I support your channel a thousand percent. But for heavy hands, maybe for you, it replaces the Dremel. But for me, this tool does not replace a Dremel. It doesn't even replace a goddamn when tool. Sorry. My channel's about honesty and my true opinion, and that's just my opinion. Okay, I really want to do give this tool the benefit of the doubt. Okay, I really do. So I got this piece of manzanita for my good buddy, uh, Damon in uh, California there. He's the number one wood hoarder. So this is a hardwood. So let's try it on the hardwood and see how much better it works on the hardwood. Okay. Full throttle. When you're putting this too much pressure on this thing, I believe it should stall out. Because if it doesn't, you will cook. You will cook the, um, the motor. Because the motor is inside the handpiece. And sorry, this isn't manzanita, this is juniper. But you can see how, okay? I don't know. Did I get a did I get a bunk one or something? Did I? Okay, so let's try that same cut with this when with the Dremel flex shaft. This is me pushing as hard as I can. Okay, let's try this again. Here, 
I'm holding it with one finger. Let's see if we can stall it out. Look, stalled out. Look. Watch. See? See how I'm holding it? Let's try and hold this one with one finger like this. Okay, so let's feather this out. Okay, so now let's give this one an opportunity to feather it out. Okay, the thing stalls. I'm gonna hook up my ram. Now let me try my ram with the exact with the exact same burr from this. This is how you take the burrs out, just turn it, pull it out, done. Okay. I'm not out to insult anybody's tools, guys, but I'm just talking straight from the heart, right? Okay, so let's turn it on, max speed 45,000 RPMs. <coughs> Okay, let's try a new line here. See how it stopped? It's a pain in the ass. But it stops. You can hear it beep. Done it four times. Now it doesn't start. Or three or four times, now it won't start. Now I have to push start because you're doing an overload on the motor. That's why it stops. It's a pain in the ass, okay? It really is. But, in my opinion, these things are made for detail. Just like when I bought it, Pete told me it's not meant for these big burrs, okay? It's not meant for these cuts all extreme burrs. So let's give this thing the benefit of the doubt. And let's try, uh, let's just try a flame burr on here. Uh, I mean a diamond tip burr. I'm sure it will handle it no problem. But now we need to plug plug it in. Sorry guys, I went from that one video to this video. Okay, so let's try it with this diamond burr. See, see there you go, no problem. So, my opinion of this, without insulting anybody, I'm not insulting anybody, I'm not even knocking the company. Anyways, my opinion of these tools, guys, they're not made for deep cutting, okay? They're made for detailing or using small burrs or doing smaller carvings. I'm not knocking this master carver. I might have said it's a piece of shit, but I'm not knocking it. But it's not... It's, uh, in my opinion, it's not for heavy carving. For, it, for me anyways, because there you go, I proved that I'm heavy hands. That's how I carve, guys. I, I don't want to waste time and just, I just want to get shit done. So, if I did insult anybody and anybody takes offense to this video, I'm very sorry and I apologize for it. But that's just who I am. And, you know, so, whatever. No, it smells like juniper in here. It smells wicked. Okay, so I got to get back on to this other carving here. Okay, guys, so I'm all calmed down. I need to get back to focus on this piece here. But I want to talk about this tool for a minute. I am heavy hands. I carve like a goddamn freak. Okay, I really do. This is, it's not a bad tool for the price. 200 American dollars. That's not a bad tool for the price. And most of you out there are lighter carvers than heavy hands. Meaning you don't carve so deep so fast. You'll take your time and let the, let the tool do the work. I don't let the tool do the work. Okay. My hands do the work. Okay. I'm hard on tools. I've said that since the very beginning. There's, I'm not denying it. So, for example, 
Just Carve Rob loves this tool. It works great for him. And I, and I can understand that. So you guys, just because I'm saying that it's not the perfect tool for me for deep carving, it doesn't mean it's not the tool for you. You know what I mean? Lots of you guys carve a lot lighter than me. Like I said, I can keep repeating myself. I just want to, I'm just saying this little bit here because I don't want to offend anybody because some of you guys have this too, this carver. I will keep it. I will use it, but I will not use the extreme burrs in this carver as I will not use them in this ram carver okay i will not i'll use it for detail and I'm, I'm sure it will work just just wicked with those little tiny burrs on there they're sure it'll be just fine but this does not replace a dremel for me it doesn't hands down for replacing the dremel for me not for everybody for me okay that's enough about that so guys this is i'm kind of pretty well done for the day on this now because <clears throat> I got to make this head chopper off thing, okay? It's going to be sticking out like that, kind of. Remember, he doesn't have hands. He's a ghost. So this is a piece of steel I kind of bent. I'll add some more shape to it, okay? It's going to have the, the blade up here or out here. I don't know how to do I don't know how to do it yet. I'll need to look at reference pictures. But it's going to be about a month or two before I'm able to finish this piece because I have so in my head, just like you guys, when you're doing a piece, you're, you're, the normal mirror doesn't work. I need red, I need red color mirror and I have to order that from China. Okay. So it's going to take a month or two to come in, but it's worth the wait because I don't want to finish rushing this piece. I could put epoxy in the face right now. I'm not too sure if I should put it. You guys, should I put red epoxy in here or should I put black epoxy in here? That's a question I like to ask you guys. And this, I need to uh, get some sheet metal and make the blade thing. And uh, yeah. So I don't even know if I'll use this design. I got more of this metal. But anyways, I hope you're good. I got to go get ready for the live feed. Let's see if I can stand this up here. It's Thursday. I got to get ready for the live chat. And um, yeah, I hope everybody's good. I hope to see you in the live chat. And thanks to the new members in the channel. Um, because of you, I'm able to get tools like this and buy things like this and waste all that stupid money on that bullshit sparkle stuff. And I'm sure I'll use it another day. But you know, it's just like everybody that's into art. Your, your, your pile just grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. So, you know, I'll leave this where I can see it all the time, visual, so I know 100%. Uh, but I'm going to order those uh, mirrors, that red mirror tonight from uh, China. And I uh, hope everybody's good. And um, don't forget to, um, to like and uh, subscribe to this video if you want to learn more about power wood carving. This video was kind of chaotic, but that's just kind of the way it goes. One big mistake I did make, I should have cut this piece out. I should have finish the bottom before I even started but I'll give this stuff a couple days to really dry proper and then I'll cut it out so the sawdust doesn't stick in this stuff it's pretty dry pretty dry. okay I gotta stop talking so there's the review on this and we'll finish this off in a couple months when I get that uh, red mirror glass that red mirror stuff okay bye bye